Hello guys, thanks for watching. Adrian here from Mapsit. So in this uh, short video, I will say a few words about uh, our latest open source starter uh, provided uh, on top of uh, Django and Tailwind. Uh, the product uses an open source design from creative team, Argon Dashboard. And uh, during this demonstration, I will um, download the product in, in, my, in my environment, in my workstation and uh, start the product using Docker. Uh, once the this uh, the Docker execution is finished, I will deploy live the product on render uh, because the um, without without much effort because the product uh, comes with um, continuous integration, continuous deployment flow um, um, for render. Okay, let's uh, duplicate uh, the repository. Once the source code is, uh, is is available in my environment, um, I will just follow up the instructions provided on the README file. So we have here the um, Docker section, and basically we need to execute a single line. And also there is a um, th there are sections for uh, regarding the manual build for different platforms like Unix, macOS, and also Windows. In case anyone have issues uh, regarding the regarding the product, feel free to access AppSit, go here, access the support link, which is always on top of the homepage, and uh, send us an email or simply or simply join the Discord for live assistance. Okay, let's go back to the to to my local environment and um, let's start the product using Docker. Okay, product is is running, and we can see the the UI looks super super nice in my opinion. And from this point, uh, we can uh, we can create users, authenticate, and and also um, play around with the, with the, all other features. Um, as I said before, we can uh, deploy the product live using render, and uh, uh, this uh, this means we need to, of course, to have a render account for newcomers. Render is a Heroku-like uh, deployment platform, but uh, um, I think uh, the render has a superior UI, and uh, even beginners uh, are able to, to deploy full stack products and static websites without uh, without any any efforts or low level configuration in the web server and uh, might be a good choice in case you want to automatize the the deployment let's go back uh, let's go here to to the blueprints we need to create a new blueprint and just uh, um, uh, provide the um, the link to the repository in my case i will update this name Okay. Provide an, a name for our service and hit the apply button. The entire workflow should not uh, take more than one or two minutes, so um, and the product should be should be up and running. Another another thing is the um, is the fact that uh, sources are linked to to render, and uh, in case we we are updating the code base on GitHub, uh, the latest changes uh, will be reflected in the in the live live deployment.
okay so the build was successful all steps are uh, are executed without issues and now we are waiting to uh, to have the the live deployment confirmation from render another thing related to to this starter is the license which is super permissive you can uh, uh, copy the source code incorporate the source code in a commercial project or simply use the the starter for the learning activities because the license is MIT which is a common license uh, used for all our uh, open source starters okay the project is live let's open up the application in the browser at this point we have the same thing as uh, as uh, the same application as we we sold in the in my local environment let's create a new user Okay, now the all the other pages are uh, are unlocked because um, uh, uh, by default the, the uh, application pages like tables, billing, RTL, and profile are um, hidden and uh, are not accessible for guest users. Okay, let's uh, test the continuous integration, continuous deployment flow. Uh, for instance, if we want to update this uh, this label. I will uh, um, I will access the source code, and once we save the new uh, the new the new label on that file and commit the changes, uh, render should trigger a new a new <coughs> a new build. Okay, the file is saved. If we go back here to the to render, we can see here that the a new a new deployment was was triggered, and the new version of, of our product is is pushed uh, is pushed live. This is super convenient because. Uh, you can have um, releases of your product without without doing much, without doing any efforts or low-level configuration in uh, servers like Apache and Jinx, or um, working to to deal with uh, SSL certificates to to have a um, to have a SSL validation in the browser. So all those uh, things are automatically managed by by Render. Okay, the build is successful, and uh, we should see the new version of the of the website soon, where this uh, this label is is updated. Okay, we can see here that the the label that we um, the new label that we've saved on GitHub now is reflected in the in the live instance. So, guys. Thanks for watching. As I said before, if anyone have issues uh, using the using the product, just uh, go to the support page. Uh, you have here on the on the homepage a link. Go to the support page, send us an email, or simply join Discord. We have a super nice community with more than one thousand members, and uh, we always uh, we are always glad to to help anyone. Thanks again for watching. Adrian here from Epsid, and um, uh, soon we will uh, get back with more with more starters and uh, other things. Thanks, uh, thanks again, and see you all. Bye, guys.